Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to JCP. I did this trade late in the morning today and was up on it and just didn't feel the need to get out of it and it bounced at a number and I ended up lowering my stop and then I retook it. I retook it as an afternoon trade. So let's just take a look at this thing here. Uh, I didn't watch it out of the gate. I saw this here late once it was setting up here in the five minute and it also was triggering here on the 15 minute, right at 15. This is on the 15 minute chart. So I did this initially with a stop over 30 to get it down to, really I was looking for 780, 760 today, but 808 was a number. I'm telling you, I can't make these numbers up if I tried. Came down here, I was up in the trade and I didn't get out of any, but I did lower the stop. I did lower the stop then on this here um, at 24. And I didn't want it to go over 24, and I actually took out of it at 23. So, you know, I watched it and I said, wait a minute, this should still be working. So I said, this should still be working. It still should be working. And then I ended up doing this in the afternoon. So it set up in the afternoon as a short when it ran up and held the resistance. First of all, here was the area it bounced in the, mor uh, in the morning at 808. Just the low of the green bar here. And here it is over here. That's what it did. I actually never broke that today. But then when I watched it on the bounce back up, it went over 30 and I was really honed in on it because I thought, gosh, is this really not going to work? That doesn't make any sense. I know this is going to close red today. As it turns out, it ran up and held 40. 40 was the low of the previous day in here. So I decided to do it. So I did have a nice short in this in here. And I thought this was okay to do no matter what the market did today. And so it ran up here and set up at 12 o'clock major reversal time. And the one thing I did do is every time it came down and I lower my stop. I mean, I literally, from the time I took this, this position, ended up lowering my stop. I, here I had it at 34, and then here I had it over 32. I mean, I kept lowering it and lowering it and lowering it. Here I had it at 32. I put it right here. And then after it broke, I put it over 30. I mean, I just kept babysitting this thing all the way down because I wanted to make sure that it was going to fall through and work. And I got out of it like the last five minutes of the day. So I did have a trade in this here. I literally kept lowering my stop here in the one minute. Every time it was here, I lowered it. I lowered it to 23. Then it came down here and then I lowered it to 22. Then it came down here, I lowered it to 21. I mean, I was, it was, you know, so late in the day. I thought this is either going to get down and go and go to $8 or I'm just going to be out of it with whatever I make in it. As it turns out, I saw it do this double bottom here right at 345. And it's 15 minutes worth of close. I got out of it when well, I'm one penny over the previous bar's high here. I got out of it at 818. And it went up to 819 and actually uh, closed right here. I mean, it closed very weak. Never really rallied into close. So I had a decent short in that in the afternoon. And, and the one in the morning out of the gate initially worked. I just didn't see this in the morning. This trigger on a daily sell setup. You know, it's so interesting. The more and more and more I'm doing these continuation gaps, and sell setups, which is really what JCP was today. I'm realizing that this idea of areas for bounces in continuation gaps or sell setups, the idea of doing these follow through continuation gaps is to get a move, to get a move and to get out into the number. You get a move and you get out into the number. Now, sometimes they break to lower numbers, but I'm realizing more and more and more and more and more that the brand new gaps, which of course is why I like to do brand new gaps, those are the ones that go to the targets or the dream targets. Continuation gaps go to numbers. Numbers which I have, which I know, which are areas. And you can call them targets, although they're usually small targets to play into. But it's just like almost chunking out a move. Because I really could have chunked out that move in the morning and then restarted in the afternoon. Instead, I was looking for it to go down and break at 8 in the morning. And looking back now, I'm like, why did I do that? It wasn't a new gap. So it was interesting to see that because... I got money out of this today then, uh, and, and it was fine, but I could have gotten more if I had got out of the morning quick when it bounced off at 808, and then retaken in the afternoon, and then took it on down. So I think the brand, brand, brand new gaps to hold the targets or dream targets, money manage them no matter what anyways, and the continuation gaps have to be played for moves, moves to areas and numbers, numbers which I know, I mean, I just... I, I can't make these numbers up if I tried. I mean, I just, these numbers are so, so real. It's really something. But I tell you one thing, JCPenney will get down here and break this area sometime in the next year. 
I mean, I don't even think it's going to take a year. I mean, the next couple of months is just not going to happen for the end of this calendar year. But JCPenney is still going to end up breaking down there again. And this, this, this rally back up here is weak as all get out. Weak as can be. And, and this, is, this is lower again tomorrow. Again, I'm looking at new stuff for tomorrow, but this is still lower tomorrow. This closed very weak. And it rallied back and rallied over 30, but it held the low from the previous day. And here's the resistance. Here it is. So it was a nice short in the afternoon. Nice short in the afternoon with a tiny, weeny, small stop. And, and I kept protecting myself and protecting myself and protecting myself because I saw the market have a big rally uh, at some point in the afternoon. I don't know what it was about. I was looking, looking. I couldn't find any news. There was no data. I don't know why I did it. But the market did have a big push up in the afternoon. And so I was very protective on this and it worked. So it was a nice play in here uh, to make some money in the afternoon. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. This is JCP, a short this afternoon here on December 17th. Anyone have any questions or are interested in the upcoming Golden Gap course? Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.